you just do your quick hits here. We're going to start in section one. We've got a good matchup here, evenly matched, Penn Manor at Manheim Township. Yeah, this one's going to be a good game. Uh, Penn Manor comes into this one 5-1 uh, and one overall, 2-1 and one in the section. Manheim Township is 4-2 and two and 2-1. Two and one. So, mm -hmm. yeah, this, this is a pretty good matchup on paper. Two real good defenses here. Uh, I think the difference is going to be Penn Manor's offense. They're second in the league. They're okay. averaging just under 400 a game. Wow. And Manheim Township has, they've been better offense recently, but they, they're still struggling overall. Mm -hmm. So I, I think the defensive advantage for Penn Manor tilts it in their favor. I like the comments. Cedar Crest going to Hemfield. Hemfield coming off a tough loss last week to Wilson. Yeah, uh, Cedar Crest is 2-4 and four overall, 1-2 and two in the section. Uh, Hemfield is 3-3 three and three and 1-2. and two. Difference here is going to be Cedar Crest's defense. They're, even as they're being more successful this mm -hmm. year, they're still struggling on that side of the ball. 331 yards per game they're allowing. Hemfield has a pretty good offense. They spread it out. They have a, a good quarterback. 10th uh, in the league overall, averaging over 300 yards a game. I think Hemfield wins it. Okay. Another team coming off a loss, Warwick. It's McCaskey coming into Lidditz this week. Yeah, Warwick's lost three in a row now. They're 0-3 mm. in section play, 2-4 and four overall. McCaskey is one of the th three uh, winless teams in the yeah. league. Uh, their biggest problem is on offense. They just cannot move the ball at all. They're, they're 22nd in the league right now. Only Solanco is worse. Warwick has a pretty good offense. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they're running a spread, too. Uh, I, I like them here. I think they're going to be able to solve their problems bounce. that they've been having lately and bounce back. I like Warwick. Bounce back for the win with the Warriors. Let's go down to Section 2. LS going to Manham Central. Big game for Central, 499, I hear. Um, yeah, they're, they're going for their 500th win in program history. They'd be the third team in the league uh, to get to that mark, uh, joining McCaskey and Wilson. Mm. And I, I think <clears> they're going to do it. This is, the, this is the toughest game left on their schedule. Uh, their last three opponents are Effort, CB, and Solanco. Those three teams are 1-17 combined. combined. Wow. Uh, LS is 4-2. and two. They're 3-0 and oh in section play, so this is a first place. And, you know, they're, they're tied for first. They haven't really played anybody at Central's level yet, though, and mm -hmm. I, I think that's going to be apparent here. I like the Barons. Gukali Lebanon traveling to Gukalico. Going to be probably a lot of points scored in this game. Yeah, uh, two of the better offenses in the league. Uh, Lebanon's offense is putting up huge numbers. The problem is they can't stop anybody, uh, as evidenced by their 72 nothing loss to Mannheim Central. I don't think this one's going to be that bad, but I really think Cocalico has an advantage here. Uh, they have one of the best offenses in the league, but they also have the league's fourth-ranked defense. So mm -hmm. I like Cocalico uh, to roll here. Okay, Solanco going to Conestoga Valley. Conestoga Valley got their first win against Effort last week. Do they win again this week? Yeah, I think they do. Solanco is still looking for their first win. Oh, uh, they have the league's longest active losing streak. It's at 10 games. CB, as you mentioned, they got their first win last week. They're 1-5 overall, 1-2 and two in the section. I just think their Solanco's offense is so bad that even though CB has some weaknesses on defense, I, I don't think Solanco's going to be able to exploit them. I like the Buckskins. Effort is going to Elizabethtown. Who do you like there? Effort, uh, the last uh, winless team mm -hmm. in the league. Uh, the problem with them is their offense is a little too one-dimensional. They're only averaging about 40 yards a game passing oh, boy, yeah. uh, for the season. E-Town should be able to move the ball against them. At, you know, the effort is defense isn't that great either. They're 18th in the league. I like mm. the Bears. Jump down to Section 3. Pickway Valley is going to uh, Mount Joy to play uh, Donegal. Who do you like in that game? Donegal has just been on a rampage yeah, lately. They have. they have a real good backfield. They have three good rushers back there. Chris Trimby, Jared Smith, Connor Maxwell. They have over 1,400 yards and 17 touchdowns wow. combined. You know, PV's lost three in a row now after a 3-0 start, and they're allowing 210 yards per game on the ground. That's not a good matchup for them. I like Donegal. Columbia going to Anvil Cleona. Anvil Cleona pulled off the upset of the season last week. They yeah. knocked off the defending section champs' uh, garden spot. That was Anvil Cleona's first win. Mm -hmm. uh, Columbia, they're, they're decent. I don't think they can overlook the Little Dutchman here, though, because... Out of Anvil Cleona's five losses, they're one and five. Four of them have been by single digits. So I like oh. Columbia here, but they better be ready for a game. Should be a good game. Yeah. Elko, Elko is going to Northern Lebanon. Who do you like there? Yeah, Elko has the uh, league's worst defense. They're averaging 450 yards and 47 points per game allowed. Uh, and they have one of the league's better offenses, <laughs> but when you're giving up that many points, you know, it puts a lot of pressure on you. I like Northern Lebanon here. Uh, they, they still run a wing tee, but they're very effective at it, and I think they're really going to be able to dent Elko's defense. So it should be you know, an easy win for Northern Lebanon. easy win for them. Non-league guard spot. It's odd to have a non-league game this time of year, but yeah. talk about their matchup. They're going to be at home and who they're playing and what's going on there. Uh, this is uh, St. Pius X, I guess, is, or Pius X, as everybody I let you it, set it up, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> it's Pius X. Uh, Royals are a single-A team out of District 11. They compete in the All-America Conference. 
from what I can see, looking, uh, doing some research on them, pretty good offense. Mm -hmm. They're averaging 397 yards and 30 points per game. Interesting. Now, Garden Spot's coming off that upset loss down with Cleona. They should be in a pretty bad mood. I don't think, I think they learned a lesson in maybe not overlooking people right. last week. So I, I think they're going to come out really refocused. And, uh, you know, they need wins here if they want to get into the district playoffs now. I think the section title's pretty much out of sight for them. They want to get into districts. They got to start winning, and I think they'll do it here. I like Garden Spot. Should be another fun weekend in the uh, LL League. Check out his blog every Friday on Lancaster Online.